I'm tired. I've been downstairs waiting 40 minutes because you guys were talking to Patty and Meatball. So let's let's get this going. Uh, when this fight ending sequence happened, obviously not the way anyone wanted it to end, were you aware exactly what happened? I have no idea what happened. Uh, he landed the kick. I, I went to counter. He dropped. The, yeah, that's all I know. Uh, do you want to run things back with him? Obviously, he's going to be out for a while, but do you think a rematch? I'm not risking my ranking. I won I won the fight. Heading into this fight, I envisioned the winner, which is me. The winner of this fight would be fighting the winner of Tui Vasangan. So I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to fight those guys when it's right there to wait for Asmal to heal and run it back. Yeah, one last one. Would you consider being a backup for Gan and Tuivaza? I know it's all the way in France, but would you consider being a backup? I hope neither one of them blow weight, but yeah, I'd be a backup, but I hope they don't blow weight. That would be weird. How frustrating is it, obviously, such a big, massive run-up to this fight, and then for it to happen like that? Can you just talk a little bit about your emotions, how you're feeling? You hit, you hit the... You hit the Hammer with the nail. I don't know how to say it. That's the word. I'm frustrated. Like, no one wants to win like that. I got the win. I hold my ranking. I get the money. But without a highlight, did it even happen? Did the fight even happen? Is this going to be in the news next week? Am I going to get an interview with Ario Hawani? Am I going to be on YouTube? And I'm, am I going to gain 50,000 Instagram followers? No. So... Disappointed about all that, but nothing we can do about it now. You know, does that for you impact your, you know, your, your way up the division? Obviously, your your aim is to get to the title with not having the kind of performance that you wanted, and like you said, not having the interviews, the kind of hype that you would have coming off of, say, a win over uh, Tom tonight. Do you think that affects you and and your goal for the title? Nope. As long as I. I Knock out the next guy, hypes back. MMA is like that. You could win four fights in a row, lose the fight. Everyone says you suck. You could lose three in a row, win one, and you're the greatest in the world. So your last fight's the only one that matters. And obviously it's not really a win for you to celebrate tonight. So how do you think you're going to be kind of unpacking this? I'm just going to hang out. Uh... My family's here. They came all the way out here. We're still going to hang out. We're still going to have a few beers. Obviously, we're not going to be lit, but what else am I going to do? Go home in my room and just cry all night? No. I'm, I won, so I'm happy. Thank you. Uh, obviously, the fight with Ty and Cyril coming up in September... Who knows their condition, how much time off they may need after that because of the way this fight went. Do you see yourself getting another fight, even if it's not against the winner of that one? No. Why would I do that? Stay that active. doesn't. No, it doesn't help me with the rankings at all. Staying active. You don't have to stay active. You have to beat highly ranked opponents. So I'm going to wait for the winner. I will not be taking number eight, number seven, number six, because it doesn't help me. It helps them. I'm not looking to hand out any handouts. Thank you. Obviously, Back to your family. How soon are you looking forward to, oh, sorry, uh, tell me about how soon are you back home visiting with your family? Obviously, that's where you want to be more than anything. Um, I, I plan on this being a war, and I planned on taking off the next few weeks. I have a lot of things scheduled. I have a wedding. One of my homies from c c college, he's got a wedding I got to get to. I got to go spend some time with my daughter. Uh, got to go back to Chicago, handle some business. So, yeah, I won't really be in the gym for most of August. I've got a lot of plans. Awesome. Thank you so much. I, and it doesn't look like you're going to be facing Tom anytime soon. So how were you uh, planning to approach that fight? At least from the very small amount that we saw, it looked like you were prepared to sort of stand and bang with him. Is that, was that how you were planning on doing this? On, uh, yeah, on the fight? I wanted to, everyone was 
hyping up his speed. He's not as fast as you guys make it seem to be. I don't know. I know it was only 15 seconds, but every exchange he got touched. He's and a lot of his highlights when he's when he's sparking these guys is because they're stagnant. They don't move their feet, which is what I do. So he. I I just I don't believe the hype. I don't think he's as fast as everyone thought he was. Uh, obviously, he's also he's not as big as everyone made him out to be. I felt like I was bigger, more athletic, more explosive, um, and obviously I think my bones are stronger because he's the one who he landed the kick on me and he ended up getting injured. So I don't I don't know. It's it's a weird night. Really hard to come up with with the answers with a, a win like that. It's not really hard to be hyped up about it. I understand. Two of Asser and, and Garn is the fight you're obviously going to be keeping a very close eye on. Who do you expect to be facing as a result of that fight? Who do you think will come through that one and potentially face you next? I think Garn, but it's heavyweight, so I wouldn't put a dollar on that fight because anyone who says they know who's going to win, you don't know. You're a liar. It's heavyweight. It takes one punch. Obviously, uh, Cyril Gans, the more technical, the more he's got the better footwork. He's got the fancier combinations. But Tui Vasa, he's in the top five for a reason. He hits hard. He doesn't need combinations. He needs one punch. So we'll see. Yeah. Last one from me. Uh, obviously, the fight didn't didn't go the way you wanted it to. What was your overall London experience like this week? Uh, it was dope. I've always wanted to visit London. Um, nothing this week makes me feel like I won't ever be back. I, I definitely plan on coming back out here and just hanging out, exploring. Um, fans were nice. Food was a lot better than what I'd heard. I'd heard that the food was like in the 1600s still, but it's not like that. Uh, it's, it's good. The food's good here. Brilliant. Thank you.